What's up guys, it's Dish Gaming here and we are back with some more Victoria 2 HBO America. I actually gotta record two episodes of this because I had to make 14 episodes in five days basically. <laughs> How fun. <clears throat> Let's see, Columbia's getting rebels. No, no, I can't. Where's the, where's these Columbian rebels? Seriously, where, where are these Colombian rebels? I don't see rebels in Colum Oh. No, one division of Panama nationalists. You know what, British? I don't mind giving you military access, I guess. I mean, who are you at war with? You need military access to us. The M Messina, it does, it's not really a very big... Oh, oh, we could do free allied cores and get all of Canada for Canada. Oh, yeah, it's like, that's right, we have this thing going on here. Uh, two, eight, okay. I think we're gonna beat the British out there. How do we, um, how do we, uh, it's, it should be drifting down now because we're, we're ahead of the British at this point. They're losing the race in Alberta. I don't know, it's not going to tell me. Okay. 510. So that means eventually we'll need all of Alberta, obviously, to make the border look good. We'll probably take Alberta. I'll give Canada probably the rest. But get army decision making, of course. It's, we're a bit late on that tech, but... Let's see, 510. Okay, yeah, we guess we got a little bit more time. So that's right, last episode we colonized some of this stuff. We're still waiting on the Dark Continent to be able to colonize the North North. Like the Yukon, uh, in the Northwest. We're getting the Northwest Territories. I'm not letting all of this go to the British. I really wish they would divide into a state, like somewhere around there. That would be kind of cool. But, nope, I'm not letting all of the Northwest Territories go into the British. I'm sorry. <clears throat> See, so does Bermuda have a uh, port? Yes, it does. Okay, just making sure. Can we build? Um, you need to move south a little bit, actually. So you know what? You're gonna go to Quebec City. Can we build? Uh, uh, that's right, the Amstra. I wonder if eventually these guys can become um, will become Yankee. Just, I mean, I know they're technically part of Canada, but Canada is a puppet of um, America. Boom! The USA has taken northern Alberta, or sorry, Saskatchewan. We've had we have all of Alberta. Sorry, I I, I don't live in Canada, so I don't know the. Uh, can create a colony already? Wow, colony, colony. Nice. Look at that! Look at that beauty! It's it's not even called British Canada anymore. I love that. It's not even called British Canada. It's called British Rupert's Land. The American Red Star. I'd rather the rich try to become socialist. I think that's a smaller percentage of our population. Tensions dissipate. All pops in Alberta. That's good. Of course, we're definitely going to get the Yukon. The British aren't even going to be able to compete in the Yukon. I might actually forego going to the Yukon though immediately. That's not even going to be this episode. Though. That's going to be what's for you guys next episode. What for me is going to be like in like 45 minutes. But... <laughs> Yeah. Uh, oh, what? These guys, I'm just gonna split these guys in half. Hmm. The Italians are still in our spear. I noticed Bulgaria is looking at. What did Austria Hungary do? Jesus, Austria Hungary, you need to chill a little bit. Did you win next? Oh my god, they did. Those monsters! <laughs> You're not supposed to do that for at least like 25 years or something. I just love how Britain owns just that part of Egypt, not the rest, just that part. What is that? Italy? Oh. Italy. Don't worry, I intend to maybe. Oh, no. France is gonna beat us to Futa Jalon. Why can't we. Why can't we expand here? I wish we could. I mean, we know it's gonna fall anyways, so. I wish, I wish they would just give us the, uh. Alberta is being granted statehood. Cool. No, but seriously, I wish they would just like. 
I love how, like, you look at the culture. Oh, that's not Matisse culture. What is that right there? The small Dixies. Dixie? <laughs> I actually want to see which cultures are actually, like, no, yeah, our small population of Americans are Dixie. Come on, man. Oh, yeah, so let's see. We can enact another reform. The universal health care movement. So, where is health care? Trinket health care. Oh, it looks like the socialists might actually win the next election. Well, the first socialist president, which really isn't a bad thing. I think it's like the second American Civil War. That whole scenario can only happen if, like, we have like a rebel of rebellion that leads to um that kind of thing happening. I don't think we're going to expand in the South yet, though. Uh, maybe later on in the game. I don't know though. Oh man, Brazil got it. Brazil got Acre, Acre, Acre. I don't know if it's Acre or Acre. It's like. Fuji alone can have military access, sure. Hmm. Does it a Medicare Republic? We, if we, we really want Cuba to. Oh, come on! You're kidding me! Germany, come on, man! Who's gonna go to war with Spain for Cuba? For Cuba? Oh! What? Oh, yeah. No, yeah, that's right. Conservatives tend to grow when, uh, past reforms. I forgot. Hmm. Let's see. So, yeah, we took all the British uh, holdings there. It's too bad we get the same barge back. I think that event usually triggers for Sweden. Not us, but whatever. I don't mind too much. We have, we have all these islands over here. The war was very. That war was actually the war that made me realize. That war was the war that made me realize we could beat the British easily. Let's see. They're at war with Oyo. How much would it cost to uh, free Allied cores? Five. Oof. Uh, we, do we still have a truce? No, we do not. We could technically go to war again. Free like. Uh, probably Labrador, Newfoundland, or Quebec or something. I don't know if I want to yet, though. Let's go, Navy. Let's start upgrading. Wait, no, no, no. We need blue, blue, blue and brown water schools. That's where that text been. Okay. We, we'll maybe colonize some land once the Dark Continent thing happens and whatnot. Like... We'll try to get Western Sahara. That's going to be a hard one to get, but we'll try to get it. <clears throat> Why are we losing money so much right now? Should I should I raise taxes for the rich? Yeah, okay. Raising them slightly actually really helped our money situ our monetary situation. I mean, we don't really have a very bad monetary situation if you look at that. We still have like almost 5 million. We could try to get a treaty for from the Chinese. What is it? A negotiate an unequal treaty? Punitive expedition. That's right. Not Chinese though. I don't want. I don't think I'd want to prey on them. Does Vietnam have any treaty forts? I can't remember. I think they have like one. It looks like Haiphong. Maybe it could be treaty port. Uh, no, we no. There we can't do a punitive expedition. Can we do a punitive expedition in the Rahan Rahana Kingdom? No, I know there's other countries they have that you could do punitive expeditions in. Can't remember which ones they are. The Russo-Japanese wars going on? Russian war of Japanese Sakhalin. Oh no. Oh no. I don't think I want to do an unequal treaty though. I actually would rather do the open border, whole open border thing. I feel like Jose on might we might be able to Yep, there we go. We can do it with uh Korea, basically, we can negotiate an equal treaty, but that will bring us into war with Manchuria. Is yeah, in the con under control of the king. Can, can we do a punitive expedition on Persia and take like the island of Hormuz or something? There we go. We can take Quechua. I wonder, is that actually? Yes, it is. Hmm. Kushem. We could take Kushem, but that's, I think, is a bit too far for us. 
I mean, that's the middle of, um... Can we... There's, there's gotta be a... There's gotta be a punitive exhibition. Yep, there is. It's for... Yeah, the other side, I think. Or, you know, Zanzibar. Can, can we do a punitive exhibition? I'm just... No, we, 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 we've probably talked to somebody like Spain that we could actually justify war on. And if we're justifying war on Spain for anything, it would probably be for Cuba, but... I mean, who's, who's counting, really? I know, we could do a punitive exhibition on them for going to Guantanamo Bay. There we go. Though I really do want all of Cuba. I'm extending Manifest Destiny, basically, is what I'm doing here. That and also this thing. This thing, yes. I think that's the proper way to describe this. Thing. Sounds perfect. Yeah, we like have stations that like slightly less divisions on the border there. Uh, the Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Cool. Classic piece of British literature. I mean, Bri British. <laughs> American literature. I don't know if we're ever going to mobilize for the rest of the game now. <laughs> Unless we find ourselves under threat from, like, massive invasions, I don't think we're going to find ourselves mobilizing anytime soon. Can we do a punitive expedition in Egypt? Oh, come on. A punitive expedition in Egypt should be a thing for, like, Alexandria or something. See, look, if we do it for, like, Alexandria, Dumia, maybe. Oh, you'll see that's Grant's personal memoirs. Who is he? I'm kidding. Obviously kidding. There we go. We'll do a punitive expedition for Al Reef. <laughs> there we go. Because isn't that what everybody wants in life? A punitive expedition for Al Reef. Uh, what is the... Once again, we gotta wait for the life rating to go down. We need to wait for Dark Continent. Which one is that? I think that's... Continue. The Dark Continent, yeah. Uh, oh. You can't get the Dark Continent if you're... Seriously? You can't get the Dark Continent if you're, um... If you have the Congo Free State as a puppet? That must suck. Yeah, that sucks. I feel bad now. Italy's never gonna be able to colonize Africa. Also, we're losing money again. What is going on here? I mean, I know we literally have everything on full spending, but come on. Yes, the capitalists will be forced to spend more money for right now. Although, I think we're gonna have the, uh, the next election. I really think it's gonna be the socialists. And I don't mind that. Oh, we have a lot of countries that could potentially be released now. Build. We could wait. We can build the Titanic. What? Take a warship commission. Uh, we, when can we enact women's suffrage? We need social science for that. Native Protection Act. Okay, the Guantanamo Bailey's, we can't do that one yet. But once we're done with this, actually, we could do it. But our relations need to be good with Spain, I think. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh. Take away our, um... That's right, Sudan is in the American sphere. I totally forgot that Sudan was in our sphere. We're not influencing anybody right now. This isn't good. Oh yeah, these guys need to get churned back up a little. Who is not in any way sphere? Because, I mean, obviously if I can. Oh, the Dutch aren't in any sphere. Interesting. Spaniards aren't either? What do you say? We can enter the, uh... No, nope, they're in that sphere. Let's, you know what? I say why not. I mean, I know they're kind of in the sphere of our one great power ally, but come on, why not, man? Show great powers. Uh, <laughs> shouldn't we be gaining something there? 
Nation is on another continent. Oh. That is going to make it hard to influence people off of, like, the Americas, basically. Oh, yeah. Are people colonizing these islands? Because we need to do the Guano Islands Act soon. When can we do that, by the When can we do the Guano Islands Act? Uh, Blue and Brown Water School. It's actually about to be ready. That's right. We're going to do the Guano Islands Act in this video. Sweet. Um... Who can we influence? Well, so they can't influence them, that's for sure. Uh, you know what? Some things should be forgotten. I don't feel like digging deep and greedily. Yes, I love how blue the content is. And there's this heathen red right there. Heathens! <laughs> okay. Common school movement. Acceptable school systems. No, oh, Bulgaria's in nobody's sphere right now. Or are they in the, or are they in the German sphere? It just looks like they're in nobody's sphere. Could have, like Futaj alone in our sphere or something, but. I don't know. That's obviously gonna be in the Italian sphere. There we go. We'll go. What? What? <laughs> Portugal, our next trans ball. Come on. <laughs> Ethiopia's in nobody's sphere, actually. We have, like, one small tick of influence in there. There we go. We'll be the ones to put the king in our sphere. They're hostile towards us. Are we even going to be able to influence to invest in anything? Population. They're too populated for us to sphere them. Mm -hmm. Can you maybe try to sphere Vietnam? Vietnam now. There they are. Mm -hmm. They're 53rd, I believe. Yes. We could influence Vietnam, try to. Eh. Really, I think we've got everybody in our sphere who we want to be in our sphere, unless, like, Cuba comes under the occupation of. Like, Cuba declares independence or something. Unless that happens, I think we basically have everybody we want to have in our sphere. So, that's, yeah. It's not really left for us to influence, to be quite honest. It would just be maybe maintaining our hold. Then we also have, like, this one random African country. <laughs> It's just, this looks so weird. We just don't have Sudan. No good reason. We just kind of have Sudan. Uh, build local reform. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Mechanized mining. We got free dreadnoughts. That's good. Maybe, you know what? We're, still, we're not building very many more ships, right? Could I add maybe a monitor in there or something? Two monitors? Three monitors? I'm just gonna keep my monitors until it says I can't. Okay, yeah, we actually got some monitors now. Okay, that's we're getting we're getting a ton of monitors now. It's gonna be fun. Oh Jesus, Russia is losing. Oh, that's actually not that bad. I remember in the beginning of the game, I think it's like 7k or something. A lot of them are coming to the U.S., so that is. Beautiful. <laughs> this beautiful bright green that is America is just so beautiful. Oh, has the Kiel has Germans, have you completed the Kiel Canal yet? Yes, you have. Suez exists and Panama exists. That's good. The Ottomans exist too. I don't I don't like that one though. How did the Ottomans get that? Interesting. The Guano Islands Act. Let's see, so we should just gain a bunch of islands, including Midway and Wake and all that type of stuff. Let's get naval decision making, of course. Let's see. What islands did we just gain? A bunch of islands. A literal. No, that's France. 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 We got Midway and Wake at least. I mean, that's something. And I think these islands are too. Palmyra. 
and the Wine Islands. That's those are ours. Uh, is that it? Really? Oh, man. Oh, oh well. Let's go take the U.S. Vert. Let's go take American Samoa then. Where is Samoa, anyways? Actually, <laughs> now that I think about it, there's there's got to be a problem called Samoa. Really? It's all the way down there? We didn't even control down there. Samoa? This is Samoa? Nope, that's Tonga. I thought American Samoa is a bit more like... Uh, it gave us a state. I thought American Samoa was a bit more like here-ish. World Anti-Slavery Convention. Congrats, guys. Well, Pops become more liberal. No, we wanted the Socialists to win, actually. I actually wanted the Socialists to win. What's, what's our border policy right now, anyways? Open borders, okay. And that's exactly how we want it right now. Wait, Mexico and Bolivia. Where's these Mexican rebels? Uh, those Yucatans? No, nope, they're anarcho liberals. Uh, kill them now. And the other one, what was the other one? Bolivia. I don't even see any rebels in Bolivia. What are you talking about? Oh. Uh, we don't have military access or something. No, yeah, we don't have military access. Give us military access. Actually, you know, we don't even need to go there, to be quite honest. The Mexicans have got them. It's 15k versus 3k they're losing. Anybody trying to influence my guys here? Ah, Sudan is being influenced. Oh, two countries have joined in the influencing of Sudan now. No. I mean, Sudan maybe, though, is just a bit of an odd country to be in the American sphere. I can understand all the countries in the Americas, of course. Ooh, Portugal. That's interesting. What does Portugal want? What is, when is our next election? What is the next one set to take place? Oh, okay, it's starting in, like, a month. <laughs> okay, I just felt like it should have happened by this point, so I was making sure. Oh, God, voice crack. <laughs> So, looks like the Liberals are going to win again. I was really hoping these guys would win, too. They were going to win until I took the thing that made 10% uh, of our population Liberal. Damn it. Really, I actually really want them to get into power. What, actually, you know, what are their views on things? They're pro-military. They're anti-military. Nope, nope, can't let them in power. Communist Party's pro-military. There you go. I actually don't want the Communist Party in. No populist either. Democrats are fine. Radicals are fine, I guess. Except they're atheists. Whatever. Uh, Jing, we really want the Southern Democrats, though. But they're so weak at this point. It, it takes, like, I think it would take, take an entire game to get us actually having the... Actually having any, any time reactionary parties win an election. It's just... Yeah, so let's see. Yeah. A lot of them are either pro-military or anti-military. None are fully committed to, like, pacifism. And one is committed to jingoism. We do have a high percentage, though, of reactionaries. It's our own literacy. Uh, 25th of December, so we'll just barely find out who wins. Oh, I wonder who's going to be. We got the Blue Water School. Oh, we need to get Guantanamo Bay, at least. Ah, yes. Create a state in New Caledonia. Congratulations, New Caledonia. It's now state. Right. Oh no, a general died. What are we gonna do? <laughs> mm, we're down to 15 infamy now. I could attempt to go. Nope, looks like the British have beaten me there. I don't know, though. I might just stick with Liberia, to be quite honest. I don't know. 
trying to decide what my role is going to be. I think I might just want to dedicate all my power up here in the Northwest Territories and whatnot, making sure they don't fall into British hands, of course. Um, actually, you know what? No, I think, I think what will most likely happen, Canada will get everything west of Manitoba. I want Manitoba just purely because I want nice borders. <laughs> Literally, that is the only reason. Also, has this, has Alberta become Yankee? They still have some British. They need to become Yankee. Uh, Bolivia, you, I got, you have, you have, okay, there they are now, but. So we got a bunch of monitors being built, and let's expand the naval base in New York. It's like one of our top naval bases there. <laughs> I'm wondering, and I guess we probably should build some more armies. Let's get... And a bunch of curiosers. Take away three of those and get some artillery. Okay. Oh, what is this? Oh. Germany, I don't think you need my help here, but okay, if you insist. <laughs> if you insist, man, I'll help, but I don't really think you need it. Seriously, look, look they got like 6,000 men. Uh, let's get empiricism. Uh, so far, I'm gonna stay capitalism. We're still fourth in the world. I know it's simple. We'll extend manifest destiny into Siberia. <laughs> I really don't think that would make much sense at this point. I mean, Manifest Destiny is already being expanded into Pacific Islands. No, it's simple. We eventually just extend it to Japan. And then that's basically, um... And then that's basically, uh... That's basically, uh, Asia. So we kind of just allow Manifest to We go across this way. We can't go across the other way, though. No, that'd be awful. We have to go through King and British India and all of that. <clears throat> Are their vassals being slowly annexed? It's awful. Also, that's right. They own Pondicherry and they own Goa, and yeah. Let's see, so the election will be done in less than a month. That's cool. Speaking of election, ha no, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. I, I know. I'm just, I know. I'm, I'm, I still can't believe it either. <laughs> you're gonna. You're gonna go move. To like Baltimore or something. Coalition of conservative and react. Oh, the Democrats won. I was not expecting that one at all. Actually, I was not expecting the Democrats. Uh, you know, what you gotta do now. Tax galore. <laughs> I was really not expecting the Democrats to win. Not expecting it at all. Speaking of which, that's the end of the video, guys. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.